What's up guys? Gonna do a quick little video blog on testing for ketones. So I just blew into this breath analyzer, Ketonex breath analyzer, and it's saying that I'm blowing positive for ketones. Green means um, like a lower level of ketones, probably like nutritional ketosis, which is cool. I'm cool with that. I'm not trying to get into optimal ketosis for any specific reason. Um, breath testing with one of these or blood testing with a precision extra glucometer a ketone tester you stick your finger you put the blood on a strip you stick the strip in the little machine and it will tell you an exact reading of how many ketones are in your blood this test for acetone in your breath the blood strips test for beta hydroxybutyrate in your blood one thing you'll notice if you test with both of them at the same time they are very uh, closely related. When your breath ketones go up, your blood ketones also go up and vice versa. When they go down, the other one goes down. So beta hydroxybutyrate in the blood is basically the gold standard for how you test for ketones. And this is strongly correlated with uh, blood beta hydroxybutyrate. So this is a good way to test. This is also reusable. The blood strips are expensive and you can only use them once. They're like five bucks a strip. So I use this instead to test for ketones if I'm conducting an experiment or something. If you're using your keto sticks urine strips to test for ketones and you're testing positive, I hate to break it to you, but you are doing the opposite of burning ketones for energy. You're literally peeing them out. The goal is to burn the ketone body. When I say burn, I mean metabolize the ketone body in your cell, in your mitochondria, to use it as fuel. If you're peeing them out, you're not accompli accomplishing that. So it would be better if you tested using urine ketone strips and didn't show up any ketones. That means they're not being excreted out of your body as waste. If you're taking ketone supplements and then testing your urine and testing positive for ketones, you're basically peeing your money down the drain, literally because the ketones are going in your mouth and going out of your private parts into the toilet. I see a lot of people testing with those keto strips after they drink ketones and they're stoked that they have ketones in their pee. It's obvious that they don't understand what's going on. They're basically peeing their ketones away. <clears throat> um, it would be good if you drank ketones and then didn't test positive for ketones in your urine. That means somewhere between consumption and excretion they're being used. So this is just something that I see online on social media. People are like, yeah, I tested positive for ketones that I just drank. And I wanna be like, you realize that what you drink actually comes out of you, right? Uh, but that's obvious. I don't know why it's, it's not obvious that, that testing positive after drinking them is, is kind of a bad thing because you're spending money on ketone supplements. Um, the goal would be, the, the reason why you're testing positive and they're not being used in your blood is because you don't have the metabolic machinery to actually utilize those ketones that you're drinking because you never went through the work of building up mitochondria, mitochondria biogenesis. By doing a real ketogenic diet, restricting carbohydrate and forcing your body to burn ketones, you grow more mitochondria. Those mitochondria in turn, are they have the capability to grab a ketone and use it as energy, turn it into ATP. That might be movement, thinking, heat, whatever. So just wanted to kind of shed some light on how to test. Use breath analyzers, use blood. Keto sticks don't work. They're actually the opposite of of what you want to see. Uh, they're misleading too. Um, if I were to test right now on a keto sticks after using this, testing positive, the keto sticks would most likely say I have no ketones. That's because I'm using the ketones for energy in my, in my body, in my cells. So just wanted to, I, I'm on no supplements by the way. This is all endogenous ketone production. I make them in my liver, um, they're free. So just wanted to shed some light on that. Um, that little topic there because I, I see people messing that up noobs messing it up online so anyways uh stay keto